take deep breaths or something. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mom. French Valley traffic, Blink 313 Romeo's upwind. So we go parallel to the runway. You're okay, Mom, don't worry. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, totally safe, huh? Hey guys, it's Richard with Richard in the Sky. I have a fun episode for you today. Join me as I take my mom up into the airplane for the first time. And we're gonna look for 55 for takeoff. Oh. Okay, you feel okay, mom? Yes. Good. How you feeling, you okay? I don't want to stop. You all right, you a little nervous? You do have a bathroom on board, don't you? No, that's why you need your depends. <laughs> Is it too late to change my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Can you hear me? Yep. All right, let me put this a little closer. Talk again? Yes, I can okay, hear good. you just fine. All right. Is it below my mouth a little? Uh. Oh, it doesn't hide my whole face. Yeah, there you go. How's that? Okay, good. My hair all right. How about me? Am I looking good? <laughs> he says we have to have quiet time when he takes off. Yeah, well, I'll have, to take, I'll have to take deep breaths or something. <laughs> you want me to bring your side down? All right, we're going to start it up, okay? Okay. French Valley traffic. Oh, wow. Cross Lent 1A, French Valley. All right. The wind's going to make it back. French Valley Airport. A little Automated bit. weather observation. Two, zero, four, three. Zulu weather. Wind, one, niner. Zero, at, one, zero, gust, one, five. We're going to roll. We are taxiing over to do a, a run-up. With my sweet mom. How you feeling, mom? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm excited too. Thorough run up and then uh, take to the skies. Catch a glimpse of the ocean and then head back. French Valley traffic quick ship. Oh, that um, is uh, left downwind. That's one wonderful. Eight, good park to the north, last call, French Valley. It's busy they always right come now. in this way? This no, it depends on which way the wind's blowing. That's runway 18. That's like a magnetic heading of 180. And that's. Three six zero, right? That's the reciprocal. Eight number two for that. Yeah. So he's final, and that guy's turning base to final. Okay. So let me go through yes. my run up real quick. So I check the engine at like a higher RPM. We just go through some systems, mom, to kind of just check things right before takeoff. It's like the final sort of check. Does that makes sense. Yes. Makes me more comfortable. I see what you mean about it getting warm in here. With the yeah, as soon as we get in the air, though, we'll, we'll get some nice... All right, so I'm going to check lane A. All right, we got a nominal drop in RPMs, but engine holds. Wait for lane A light to come off. And we'll check lane B. All right, we get the enunciators we expect, but the engine remains. All right, we'll bring B back on and wait for that light to come off. All right, cool. Now we're going to check the fuel pumps. We'll check the boost pump on its own. We're looking for the PSIs on the fuel pump to steady. It does at 43.1. Now we'll check the main pump on its own. That steadies at like high, 43 is mid. And we'll bring them both back on. Now we'll check the propeller. We'll go to manual, force it out. We'll bring it back a little bit and then we'll take it to auto and make sure it comes back on its own to where we left it. Nice, I like that. We're gonna do a little idle check on the engine. Idle checks, won't let it labor too long. All right, we're good there. Let's check the VPX really quick. Transponder is set for VFR. Fuel pumps both on. Trim is good. Flaps are at takeoff position and that verifies visually and on the panel. Seatbelts check, you're good on your seatbelts. Doors are closed and locked. Good. Last thing on, on the checklist is you, you have your depends on, right? <laughs> All right. You do have a bathroom on board, don't you? No, that's why you need your depends. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes, so. Okay. That's interesting how it shows where any plane is. Yeah. French Valley traffic, sling 313 Romeo is taking the active at 1-8 for a straight out departure, French Valley. So that's how we self-announce, right? So that, that guy that's in downwind, he knows what's going on. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Oh, he's... All right, so I'm gonna ask you to 
Yes. I'll be down for a little right. minute. Here we go. We're going full power. And our airspeed's alive. Ages are green. And we're going to look for 55 for a takeoff. There it is. Okay, you feel okay, Mom? Yes. Okay. Now let's bring the plane up. There we go. Enjoy traffic. That's your 07 Kilo. Turning left base 18. Full stop. Press up fast. French Valley traffic. Slang 313 Romeo's upwind. 1,800 climbing. We'll be going straight out. French Valley. We don't have to go to the beach. Oh, we can just have a look over there. Uh -huh. Okay, let's get the flaps up. And we'll go to climb. Good. How are you feeling? You okay? You alright? You a little nervous? Hey mom, you can, you can go ahead and verbalize now. You don't need to just make groans and stuff. You can tell me how you're feeling. I want to know. Uh, you alright? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, French Valley traffic, uh, sling 313 Romeo's, upwind 2600. Uh, climbing last call, French Valley. Okay. Okay. There's some bumps, Mom. It's uh, yeah, it's windy. It's a little windy oh, out there, we, but we, it's we totally safe, oh, just so you know. We don't need to go, go that far, honey. You don't? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the wind is interesting when it's windy. The wind is interesting when it's windy. The plane is interesting when it's windy. If interesting's the word I would use, maybe not. <sighs> All right, let's go. To oh, totally safe, huh? Totally safe. Okay. I know you would not do this if it weren't. It is interesting. Wow. So your house is over our right shoulder. Yeah. And uh, why don't you tell us what you do down here, Mom? Well, I'm a realtor. Yeah? And I just put a almost a million dollar house in, in escrow today. That's exciting. Yeah, it's been a very... Congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's been a very interesting day. Good. <laughs> well, we'll add, we'll add to the interest and excitement. All right, so we're just passing 4,300 feet. We're going to go up to 5,500. I'm going to turn over to the map page here. What are all the little blue dots? All those little things? Uh -huh. uh, those are just waypoints. Um, and then these moving things, those are actually airplanes. That's traffic. Oh, you can actually see the ocean. It's a bit hazy today. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to level out now, Mom, at 5,500 feet. Wow. What do you think of that? 5,000. So you can see the 15 down there. Yes. To give yourself some orientation. The crevices and the way the mountains come up are, diff are really interesting. Yeah. Well, that is the ocean out there. It's just, you can see yeah. the coastline. I can, yes. It's just quite a bit. It's hot, very hazy. It's hazy today. It looks like All right, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll show you something cool. Oh. No, no not, not scary. <laughs> We're gonna hit altitude on the autopilot. And I'm gonna go heading mode, bug the heading and hit autopilot. Oh no. Check this out. Oh The no. plane just does it. So I can turn the plane to the right a little bit. <laughs> And it'll go to the heading that I put it at. Right now we're at a heading of 180. We're looking around for traffic. I'm going to go back to a 179 as I am at odd thousand five hundred altitude. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah, good. Okay. This so if people want to find you as a realtor down here in the Temecula, Murrieta, Wildemar area around French Valley, how are they going to find you? Well, I work for Colwell Banker in Temecula. All right, there you go. And it's a great company. Colwell Banker's been around for over a century, and I'm getting close to that myself. <laughs> the turn of the century? <laughs> well, I'm 78 and still working. Mom, you look great for 78. Yeah, I, yeah. Paid, you, I paid you a lot of money to say that. No, <laughs> honestly, you do. You have, the fact that you're out there still pounding the pavement, and working hard and the fact that you know 
we were able to get you in this airplane? Yeah, I often wonder if my mother would have done something like this at this age. Although, we went to India when she was this age. I remember that. I was in fifth grade. Yeah, she and I together. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Okay. Look in here. Let me look for that traffic up ahead of us. The fact that you're so... This is a small plane in comparison to many. Um, it's amazing that it can be so... Um, still, you know. Yeah. And level and... Okay, I've got traffic in sight. See that little airplane over there? He's at the same altitude we are. About 11 o'clock, he's going eastbound. It's hard to see stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I've got it. That's what's important. That's all that matters. This guy. Uh-huh. As long as you can see him, that's what yeah. counts. And your radar is really neat. It's actually not radar. It's what's called ADS-B. So everybody has a transponder on their plane. And it's the transponder okay. signal. Alright, so I've got traffic over there. So we're still following the 15 here. You want to just kind of go out and touch the ocean? Wow, everything here is your, all your dials and screens. That's pretty cool. And I can change stuff over here. Like, I can look at terrain. I can look at the weather. Wow. I can look at our flight plan, which we don't really have one. We're just flying VFR kind of joyride today. I can look at airports that are around us, their frequencies. I can look at the chart. Bring this back to the VFR on the chart. Why don't you, t do you want to turn the plane by using the autopilot? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so check it out. Our heading is 179. And I'm going to turn the plane. I'm going to turn our heading. Oh. You can see it going. Oh. oh. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Oh, no. That's not cool. <laughs> so the plane's turning all the way around. And we are going to head back. Wow. Towards the airport. See the view, though? You can get yeah. it really nice. Do you see how beautiful the autopilot is? It holds our altitude. Uh, perfectly where we want it. This really is a great plane. It really is. All right, so now you can see see where it says F70, Foxtrot 70. Uh huh. So that is French Valley Airport, and oh. this this little snail track here is the route we just took. And you can see where we turned around right there. Oh. You realize, of course, that now that I'm getting so that I'm not afraid. And I can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> I started breathing again. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Breathing's good. Yeah, it you is. You feel comfortable now, though, right? Yeah, almost. A and, bit more? Uh, yes, It's almost. something you get used to. And if when I get used to it, you realize I'm going to want to do this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me, Mom, what I was like as a kid growing up. You were absolutely a delightful delightful child. Booyah. I had you fooled, huh? Turn that sound you heard? Uh-oh. No, no, that's What's just that? me turning the autopilot off. Oh. <laughs> no, I think I was a pretty good kid. Yeah, you were. Just turning, Mom. We're okay. Okay. I got into a little, little bit of mischief in high school, but, you know, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Boy, I'll tell you, the turning is... It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to descend down. So to descend, I'm going to pull power. Downwind. And just and just the nose. I'm going to aim it down a little bit. See the speed start to decrease and our altitude start to decrease. So now I'm on a heading where my altitude should be even thousands because we've got this person coming towards us at 1,500 and I'm going from 5,500 down to 4,500 and I'll, I'll bug our altitude. See that? So he's two miles away from us, that two mile ring. Oh, and we've got him in sight. Right there, one o'clock. Yeah, no, I can't see him. Okay, that's okay. But I'm sure glad you can. Yeah, wait till I go to the eye doctor and say I need to be adjusted so I can see up my son's airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at 5,000 feet descending. You probably want to um, 
Allow your ears to pressurize again. Yeah, do you feel that? There we go. How you feeling? It's fine. It's so sweet of you to keep asking. Well, I want you to be comfortable. Oh. So, Mom, we have uh, Mother's Day coming up, so maybe this is a little bit of an early Mother's Day gift. Well, this is a good one. This All is right. a good one. Oh, by the way. Oh, my gosh, what? I just surpassed, well, when I landed at French Valley, I had 399.9 hours of flight time because I had a 1.0. Before we started today, I was 398.9, and it was a 1.0 on the engine to get to you. So I knew once I passed like a tenth of an hour, after, so about right after we took off, I surpassed 400 hours of flight time. So that's kind of a fun milestone for me. 400 hours with my mom. Yeah. You all right? Oh, you're feeling the bumps. You know, I asked my flight instructor, we were doing, when I was training for my private pilot, you have to do a, a long cross country, which is over 50 miles at night. You have to do one. Oh. And we flew from Van Nuys to Santa Barbara. And as we were descending into Santa Barbara, it was really bumpy. Yeah. And I was a little nervous, but you know, my flight instructor was pretty chill. And I remember asking him after we, we got through it and we landed well and then took back off and headed back to Van Nuys. I asked him, I said, you know, at what point would you be nervous with the bumps? And he said an answer that I, I really thought was valuable. He said, what's the point? It's like you still have to fly the airplane. Yeah. Our first job is flying the airplane. So right. as bumpy as it gets, and getting it up and down safely. You gotta fly the airplane. Right. So, I mean, you get as nervous as you want, that's fair. Just fly the airplane. Right. All right, and if it's too crazy and you need to turn around and go the other way, well, you do that, you do that then. Right. So now I'm gonna begin my descent, but I am gonna head a little bit east because we're, we're high. I'm gonna bug down to 2,400 feet. Uh -huh. Don't worry about the bumps. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. I'll have to go for right close traffic. Okay. Uh, pattern altitude at French Valley is 2,350, 1,000 feet above the deck. That's it over there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I just have to burn off some altitude before I enter the pattern. I see. French Valley Airport. Automated weather update. Let's listen to this. Two, one, one, four, Zulu weather. Wind, one, niner, zero, at niner. Visibility, one, zero. All right, cool. I'll do something. I'll, I'll turn your way so you'll be able to... Uh, no, that's okay. No, you'll be able to see down. I mean, that's I do okay. have to turn around anyway. Oh, okay. I'll Did take you have a, to turn I'll, that way? I'll, yeah, but I, I could come around to the right. I don't want to give you a nice view. Oh, I've got a nice view. Make a nice right turn here. Nice gradual turn for you. Some nice farms out here. Yeah, and you can see the vineyards and stuff yeah. as well. Uh-huh. They like the Temecula vineyards. Wow, yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. French Valley traffic sling 313 Romeo is four miles to the east of Beam uh, Skinner Dam. Uh, we'll make a left downwind for 1-8 French Valley. I can see the... Airspace is pretty. I'm oh, sorry, Mom. It's be right down. A little wind will be all right. I don't know where I think I'm going when I. Yeah. All right. All right. 2,900 descending. French Valley traffic sling 313 Romeo, entering a left downwind for 18 French Valley. All right. That means we're 200 prior. I turn downwind now. So we go parallel to the runway. You're okay, Mom, don't worry. It's okay, it's okay. All right, now I'm gonna pull a little power so we can begin descending. French Valley traffic, Sirius 26, Charlie Zulu is on the r -Nav approach to one runway. It's gonna be a little bumpy, Mom, miles. so uh, we're okay. Descending, we're only straight in traffic for minute, French Valley. I'm gonna need a drink when I get down. <laughs> All right, they're farther than six miles. Okay. Next time, let's make sure it's not windy. Okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. 
French Valley traffic sling 313 Romeo is turning uh, left base for 18 French Valley. Uh, Don't worry, Mom, we're okay. Okay, okay. I want you to not panic, okay? That'll help me. Okay. All right, speed's good. French Valley traffic, helicopter 7 after Romeo, on the go, runway 18 for right close traffic. Okay, pulling out some power back. All right, you're all right. Don't worry. Don't yeah. worry. I'm just looking around for airplanes. French Valley traffic, sling 313 Romeo's, turning final, 18 French Valley. <laughs> okay, we're lining up for the runway here, Mom. You see that? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pitching up to bleed off a little bit of power. Or speed, I should say. Well, I think when you do that, First that's when it flaps. Yeah, that's second it, notch of flaps. That's when it moves yeah. around with the wind. You lose the power. All right, let's add some power back. All right, since it's windy, I'm going to leave it at two notches. Add still a little bit more power here. Yeah, because you can go down to the yeah. air there. Yeah, we got plenty of runway. We're doing good. I'll straighten the nose in just a sec. Pull out a little bit of power. All right, we're straightening the nose. And we're bleeding off the power. And nice, no. smooth no. runway no. for Christy. No. What do you think of that? Wow, you're amazing. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I was expecting, but you're amazing. I never thought it would be this uh, calm when you land. I mean, I yeah. thought it would bounce or something. You're really good. Oh, thanks. It's a nice compliment. Christy. Yes, dear. You did it. We did our first flight together. Oh, my goodness. Yes, What do you we think? <laughs> well, it was a little bumpy, so it was a little nutty for you, right? Yeah, well, I guess it's good that I get that out of the way. Yeah. And I know what, what to expect. Mom, you did it. Yeah. You were you a little panicky with the bumps and stuff like that, but yeah. that makes it fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll get a fresh change of those depends, huh? <laughs> That's the spirit. That's fantastic. Mom, we did it. He passed 400 hours with his mom on board. Isn't yeah. That How cool. That's great. Proud of you, Mom. Everybody should try it once. I thought it would move around a lot more than it did, like I said, because it's a small plane. And when the big planes are moving, you figure a small plane, it's really going to move. And it really, it didn't move as much as I thought at all. It, it was scary because I didn't know what to anticipate. But other than that, once, you know, it happened, a movement, it wasn't all that bad. There wasn't anything to be afraid of, really, other than the fact that every little bump that we were coming in was a. <laughs> to all you moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, I'll, all of you have a son as nice as this. Uh, I've got three great kids. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And 11 grandchildren and five great grandchildren. All right, I love you. That's fun. Just in north of it. Swing 13 Romeo, contact approach 124.6. 124.6, 303 Romeo, good day. Swing 13 Romeo, runway 12, clear to land. 12, clear to land, 303 Romeo. Well, friends, that is our journey today. Thank you for taking the ride with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think it was a pretty fun episode for me. I hope it is for you, too. Like and subscribe to Richard in the Sky, and join me on the next one. Boom.